What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a ROM called Carvin 8.0. Now these guys have been in the ROM scene for a minute. As far as I can remember, I've used them back in the Galaxy S2 days. But, without further ado, let's get into the ROM guys. Check this out. Double tap to sleep anywhere. That's a plus. I like that. And also, fingerprint reader seems to be working fine here. Not really too much of a flash when you unlock it. I mean, you can still see it. It's there, yes. But it's not a big distraction, so to speak. So when you first come to the home screen, you'll notice that we have the Google Now feed on the left. If we move on to the screen, the 90 hertz, 90 frames per second seems to be working here great. You see, it's tested and it works. So that's a plus. Now, if we go to the camera, come pre-install with a camera app, and you know how I feel about that. But before I say anything, pre-install camera does a pretty good job. It's not too noisy, but I always install Google Camera, so, and it just takes better pictures. I mean, just look for yourself. Zooming into the pictures, you can see some of them usually have noise, but it's not that bad this time. Now let's try the Google camera. I installed it from the Play Store, so let's take a look at that. If we take a picture here, you notice right away that it's much better quality. And if you zoom in, it's not noisy. So this is the reason why I always choose to use Google camera or a Gcam for that matter. Video works as well as pictures. There's other modes here, slow motion, panorama, photosphere, etc., etc. Now going to uh, network and internet, we do have Wi-Fi calling in the ROM. Yes, we do have these options here, so that's a plus. If we go to display here, we do have an option to change our font. We have so many options here. I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you'll like. We also have a dark theme, which you can enable. And we also have styles and wallpapers like we usually do now to customize our phone to whatever we want. So you can change the fonts, the wallpaper, the icons, and anything you like here. Now if we move to sound, here is where you could Turn on your vibration or your change of frame tones, but for whatever reason, cannot change the intensity of your vibration. Let's check out what we are here to see, which are carbon fibers. Under carbon fibers, we have system. Here we have shortcuts. You can choose what shortcuts you want in the power menu. I have these on and I have all those off. And we also have advanced restart. We have charging animation. We have smart pixels. We have aggressive battery, which if I'm honest with you, I never touch any of that. The phone is good as it is. Moving on to a uh, lock screen, we do have lock screen shortcuts. You can choose your left, your right, whatever shortcut you want. We have scramble pin keyboard. We have the lock screen charging info. We also have lock icon, show status bar, and display media art like we do in most of the ROMs. If we go back to buttons here, you can choose your navigation layout if you choose to the three button navigation. You also get the torch. So if you want to have, you know, hold the power to turn on the torch, that's where you would turn it on. We have to swap the volume buttons under gestures. We do have the double tap status bar to sleep, but we get my favorite double tap to lock screen to sleep. That means that you could tap anywhere in the screen under gestures. We do have all navigations options available. So choose whatever you like. We also have a swipe to screenshot for those who don't want to uphold buttons and just want to do three finger swipe. There you go. You can also hide some apps. We do have your additional buttons for your vibration, silence, and all that. Battery, I gotta say, guys, this ROM has been really good to me. I've been getting over six hours sometimes, you know, six hours and a half, almost seven hours, and I use my phone pretty heavy, you know, but your mileage will vary, so keep that in mind. But standby time is also great.
When it comes to gaming, this ROM did not disappoint. It performed real well. It had no issues whatsoever. No frame drops. No slowdown. No laggy gameplay at all. And I'll show you some gameplay so you can see what I mean. Everything ran smooth like it should be. Like it should. And if uh, benchmarks is what you want to see, I got some results right here from this ROM. So take a look at them. And uh, yeah, guys, like I said, I had no issues with this ROM. Bluetooth streaming works for music. Gaming was great. Calls were good. Would I recommend you guys to use this ROM? Yes, I would. This ROM is it's light, but fast and reliable with enough customization to satisfy your needs. Without ROM with all that being said, guys, thank you so much. Again. For we'll be ROM making more seven. ROM videos soon. There's a lot of more ROM, so stay tuned for more videos, tutorials. I'll do, I like doing some video game videos here and there. But with that all being said, thank you so much, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.